And basically the rocket's up there, ladies and gentlemen. As you're seeing some footage of it going up. So basically they couldn't lie and say that this one went into the ground. So, uh, actual factual, it's up there. And then we'll get you the, the Japanese, they're pissed off about it because the other one was up there too. I told you the Pentagon didn't lie to you, they told you the truth. It seems, they used wordage. So the young kid in Korea, he is challenging the big thwarts throughout the world. So, actual factual, it's up there. And so was the first one. I showed you that a long time ago. And if you remember the time, I told you also to listen to what the Pentagon had said at the original first satellite launch. They said uh, they were doing their black box duty, but they also told you the actual truth. It seems to have not. Okay, And this one here, definitely, they couldn't cover it up. They shot it right over across Japan's airspace, okay? And actually, that's a legality with the UN than it could be, but the idea that no one listens to the UN, it's just like if some uh, corporation gets sued by, or, I mean, if some corporation gets penalized by uh, uh, the American, uh, basically, uh, uh, they... They fine, but it's, a, it's a, an assessed fine that the idea that a company really doesn't have to pay a fine. They just politically correctly usually pay the small fine by the, like if you're occupation and uh, they get, I'm trying to re remember the name, but anyway, they're just, it's, everything's just a bunch of smoke and mirrors, okay? Because here's what North Korea played all day. Because it's up there. And the other one was up there too. So, I definitely know, and you can see right here, this is your actual factual. It's up there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. And this guy says, politically correct, he agrees with America saying that the first one didn't go up, but that's just basically being politically correct. You see? We learned from the failures in April. It's a bunch of crap. So, anyway, and this is also Japanese TV, I think, or something like that. So... This shows you just how it's supposed to do. They're saying that. It went right over Japan airspace. That's the stages. It's up there. Well, let me show you. They did it just enough to piss Japan off, but at the same time, Japan didn't pull a trigger and shoot it down. They had Patriot missiles, so Japan decided not to do anything, so. And if you look at the money behind the satellite that's up there, there is uh, connections. Go look at the company that owns the satellite that's up there. And you'll see the connections. The people who own the satellite that's up there, this satellite that is up there, okay, it's up there. And they're in business with that dude right there, okay. And it's there's American uh, people, citizens that are in business with him, okay. And I've seen the past that basically it went up over. Uh, and you'll be able to see the path as we go down here, and it's up there. And basically, here's the path that it went, and it's already done this this turn here. Okay, it's over there now. Okay, but as you can see right here, that it did, and it already I seen it t do this path. It's already did this. So basically, yep, it doesn't go over. But they found a path that they can go ahead and put the satellite into that they could legally get away with internationally. And there you go. So that's the orbit that they're using for this thing. And it can, as you can see, it can change orbits. And currently, that's its path right now. So uh, China, 
is doing their acting, saying that they don't like it too, but they're in business with them. It's communist. He's communist party, and his brother is in exile. His oldest brother. Yeah, that's right. So it's all smoke and mirrors because he is in China. Okay. So watch out for false headlines like that. Okay, because that's a false headline. U.S. official says, and they get that world news. Okay, and then the NBC's got their thing, and then they tell the truth. They they run a goofy headline like that because what they did is they ran that headline because they got somebody to go ahead and so it's propaganda, propaganda. Damn things up there. Here's the actual factual. Okay. And I'll be showing you the orbit of the little bugger for a little while, just for the hell of it. And X, our, we're proud of our little bugger. It's back up there. Check this out. X-37B is back on duty. It's Air Force's latest and greatest. Uh, and we got tons of eyes in the sky. There's 18,000 plus satellites in the sky, ladies and gentlemen. And the United States of America, you taxpayers own the majority of them, pretty much. Okay, because even some of the private ones are funded by the U.S. military and the U.S. That's right, your pork barrel money, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's go look at the orbit on XB-37B, and I'll show you it taking off. Here's X-37Bs. And this is all news and information sharing, so we have a constitutional right to free speech and sharing the news. Okay, so... And I'm not doing anything for any profit. So, non-profit news sharing. Giving you the truth, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Uh, other agencies that get advertisements and do things and so forth, yep, they're for profit, okay? And they're FCC regulated. This is a phone call. FCC regulations. This is a phone call, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, basically, you're getting it on a phone line, right? Internet's on the phone. Even if you're getting it over the airwaves, it's a phone signal okay so yep don't need a broadcasting license ladies and gentlemen the truth news okay I would rely on the internet ladies and gentlemen personally I do I'm just waiting for it to load and it should be up here in a second here we go come on baby boy play. Ooh, we get an advertisement first gotta stop that that was your tax dollars big there too because we back that company big time. Don't drop names, though. Beano Black keeps it all under wraps on names. Sorry about the dancing across with the pointer here. We'll get up a little higher. Whoa! Technical difficulties here in, in Beano Black Studios there. But here we go. I wish I could give you the sound. I was going to do that, but... Anyway, here's X-37B. And... The good thing is you don't have to listen to the painful voice of this guy that basically he's another waste of your tax dollars because we have to hire somebody to be able to sit there at NASA to be able to announce the launch and everything like that. Let's go to this jackass or whatever. So anyway, there's a lot of stuff we waste our tax dollars on. This is not one of them. There's our X-37B. That's a, basically a rocket there that's basically, uh, I'm not sure which style, which one we did. Another defense contractor and space contractor. We get our rockets. NASA gets their rockets from them. They order over there and buy it. And that's the voice you don't get. To, you're luckily you don't have to listen to him. But anyway, the motor sounds kind of like this. The chase planes did a great job of following the bugger. Honestly. You need to go to NASA or whatever, wherever you can get this footage. I got it from this, from a propaganda machine here in the United States. So, and ladies and gentlemen, I will never have a problem with somebody calling me a propaganda machine also, okay? Everything that's news anywhere from anybody is propaganda. I just give you as much as the truth and actual factual as I possibly can. So I just want to make that legal because there might be some legal smart asses out there. Well, what do you call yours? It's propaganda. Yours is propaganda. It's all propaganda. Mine just doesn't smell like lies. Okay. So the chase planes did an awesome job. I mean, they, we haul ass. Can you imagine a jet keeping up with a rocket? Holy jet jammers. There's your tax dollars at work, ladies and gentlemen. And it does. It does some great work. 
And we're back at Navy here looking at this shot, and you can see what they're blocking out. Now, what's great about it is the idea that before this shot, and you've seen the time there, I ain't going to waste video time getting really anal on that, and basically I'll pop back up to that time and period. And what you can, what's interesting is we're going to go and take a look at what they're blocking out because I got a shot before that they were blocking out. Hang on. Yes, folks, your tax dollars pay for this, and we get the great shots. And what's good is I'm going to show you these other shots, and they were worried about the remnant and stuff like that. Because when you look at it on here, you don't see the remnant that good. Right now, there's some kind of light out in space that's making it, it glow. And this is the remnant, and I'll take you to the shot of that here in just a second. Okay, and basically, it'll be fresher shots than these. Now what I need to do is make put this video up that I made, okay? But basically, I, I was taking up my shots, and before I took this down, I figured I'd take you a look. This is what we can see over at the uh, Canadian French Telescope over there, okay? We get a really good shot up there by Betelgeuse. Pataglius, everybody likes to try to call it Betelgeuse, okay? And then there's interesting, when I put, put the video up, you'll, we'll go in really close on this, and you get some really good action, okay? So I'll put that up behind this video. So now what you need to do is take, and I'm going to zoom this in, and you can take when you're doing, always watch on full screen, and then what you can do is from here, and I'll just keep zooming in, and you take a look at what they're blocking, okay? They're blocking some items up here to the left, okay? Right off the bat, it's probably some of this here, action here, and it might be what's being seen, but this so far away, but people can use it for, you know, like I say, people, propaganda, religious things, and so forth. And I'm going to zoom all the way in, and you can see that at the distance of the sun, how the stars are up there by, there is massive distances here. Now, the other shot, I'm going to be able to show you that the remnant's okay and everything like that. And like I've showed you, I'll be able to keep zooming in on this. And this is the secret to space travel at light speed. And we're going to be able to do it. Vino Black's got it figured out. So anyway, you see that? I'm from cold weather country. It's sheets of ice, sheets of lightning, okay? So actual factual, that's the one you need to zoom in on and watch this on full screen and then match up the one that's blocked and I'll go to that shot and then you can see what they're blocking because they started to block there and they're also blocking on a lot of stuff and the reason they're blocking is because the only thing that should be at these shots should be Mars way in the back, okay? Now this is on A so you might be able to see Mars but there's tons of stuff and in our turn, which is, we've never been in there since we've ever had these satellites up there, there's stuff that we're finding faster than what NASA will admit to that they're finding out there, okay? So go ahead and go to my videos and watch these here, because this is basically this object right there that I'm pointing to on the screen in there, and those magneticals, you need to watch these videos, because we're going to see that until November of next year, and even beyond that. We're going to next two years, so people could pull bull crap, okay? Because it's going to look huge. It's going to look like another sun. It's a comet. Ison, more than likely. It's more than likely Ison, or like I say, if I'm wrong, it's Cyrus, and it's the closest we've ever seen it before, and it's right there, and you can see it in this, and watch all my videos, because lately I've been showing you the truth and all this. Now, let's go look at the remnant, because they've been trying to get a good look. And here, I got a shot with the remnant that they were looking at, because basically it's looking different because of coloring out there and everything like that, and as you can see, the remnant's still there. And see, it's got a massive distance between the sun, and you can see the magneticals on the sun. Okay, there's many of them. Okay? And there you go with that. There's the remnant that's up there, and it's been up there for ages, and it ain't going nowhere. They are worried about it, though, because in that little other shot, it looks white right here. So there's something out in space that's illuminating it pretty good. Okay? Other starlight. Okay? So that's what's got all the physicists and everything worried and wondering and looking. Okay? Thanks for the Navy for these shots. Beautiful job they do, okay? So, and then I'll take you to the fresh shot of this. And basically, I'm back in at the site, and basically what they've done, and basically I'll refresh it. And someone's playing games because, well, for refresh, and there we go. So, I guess I went back a page, so that's okay. So, anyway, now we're in at that, and that's their shot now, see? So, basically, they're looking at the remnant right there. And basically, as you can see, I'll pop in real fast, 200, and see they're looking at it. But basically, something's up there is putting light off on it. So, interesting stuff in space right now. So this one will freak you out, and this is all good stuff. The kids can watch this. This is all astronomy, ladies and gentlemen. There's no holding back, and we show all the truth. We don't give you the candy cane NASA that... Uh